and battling it out to be the funniest and the best looking, but in a weird and strange way, are a bunch of comedic actors in a rom-com called When in Rome. Perhaps it should be called When in Rome, or maybe it's a Rome-com. Kristen Bell is the hapless heroine joined by Josh Duhamel, Will Arnett, John Heater, Angelica Houston and two of my favourite weirdos, Danny DeVito and Dax Shepard. The story goes like this. When a girl steals some coins from a fountain, all kinds of magic starts to happen. We'll find out more right now because Sal Morgan is with the cast. Each one of you is a desperate wish for love that is never going to come true. Now, the director, Mark Johnson, says this isn't a romantic comedy, it's more a comedy with romance. How do you describe the I movie? agree with that. Definitely. It's a comedy informed by testosterone, uh, which takes a lot of the, the sweetness out of it because there are so many boys. <laughs> I'm offended by that because I told everybody I was making a rom-com. That's a term I came up with. Um, and now to hear him say that, it feels like a real betrayal. I think that's, I, I think he's probably right. I don't think it is a traditional romantic comedy in that sense. It's really about kind of a, a fun group of people and then at the heart of it is this guy and girl falling in love. You've seen that look before. You're intimidated because I'm a model. This is crazy. I don't know whether to look at my own reflection or at you. That's how beautiful you are. Kristen Bell has been in a few comedies now. Why do you think she does this genre so well? She, like Josh, has this um, impossibly goofy personality inside of this beautiful package. And I think it's, uh, it's a paradox and it's very exciting to watch. I know the fountain in the film is fictional, but do you believe there is always some magic involved when it does come to love? Oh dear. Um, the beat of my heart is quite a magical thing. It's a sound that takes the breath of any fair maiden. When you're in love, you feel magic, I guess. I don't know if it's the creepy magic that I learned, and uh, if it is, then maybe you should rethink uh, that uh, relationship. I do believe that you can manifest things for yourself. I do believe in sort of wishing for good energy and putting good things out mm -hmm. wherever they go in the universe. I agree with that. I think that if you put something, if you put positive vibes out there, rather than depend on luck, it'll come back to you. I, I believe in karma and all that kind of stuff too. Hi. Why don't you leave me alone? I don't know you. Beth, Beth it, it's me. Your dentist. Oh, sorry. I'm flossing twice a day. Oh, good. 